All right, everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's good to be back. Jenner's going to help us do the uh, Saturday shout out this week. So, as you all know, I've been gone for a couple of weeks. Uh, we did the Seattle show and it went great. I did a vlog of that show. We took video, photographs, um, a walkthrough, and there's some pretty cool stuff in that video. So, I'll link to it up in the card here if you want to check that out. But uh, it was a lot of fun and uh, we met a lot of cool people and had a great time so if you want to see that seattle convention check that out and uh without any further ado i want to get into the uh, saturday shout out for the week and i want to thank everybody for being patient with me um i was really pushing for a long time to get everything done and uh, all my commissions and everything finished and time for the show and then the show itself and uh, that can be stressful and i was kind of burning out a little bit but um, I'm refreshed now. I've had a little bit of time off or I mean what I call time off. I've still been working but uh, I've spent some time with my wife and uh, my doggy and um, I feel good. So we're back at it and I'm going to try not to miss a week uh, ever again if, if possible. So this week is going to be uh, an epic shout out video. I've got more people than normally we would fit in and I've got a couple of follow up shout outs going to give you some information on the uh, reddit forum and the contests that are going on with the reddit forum and uh, all that kind of good stuff so I'm not going to censor myself or truncate my uh, my speaking if I have something to say about somebody I'm just going to let myself go off so if you need to skip around in the video feel free to do that um, so there we go and I might do a cut here or there I know I've said uh, before that I don't want to do cuts and I still am sticking to that tenant but these are becoming so big and there's so much information that my old noggin here has trouble uh, keeping it all organized. So I'm going to try and keep cuts to an absolute minimum. And if I can do these in one take, I'm going to do that. But if you see a quick edit here or there, it's just because I got caught up on something or whatever. But I'm going to uh, try not to do that. So, okay, here we go. We're going to start out with our uh, follow-up shout-outs. And uh, we're going to start with Kenneth Brandt. And Kenneth we did a few weeks back and he has some magnificent oil painting work. Uh, it's very high level work. His color is very rich and uh, smooth. He really knows how to use oil effectively. And he's got a new piece up now. I saw it's like a, an old timey skull with, and the skull is eating a Twinkie and it's got Twinkies all around it. So I, I thought that was fun. I got a kick out of that. Uh, Kenneth is very high level, like I said, and he's got some really uh, quality information on his channel. Not just time lapse, but he's also got some information on how to put together a professional portfolio. And uh, if you see his work, definitely you should take his advice because he's uh, he's he knows what he's doing in terms of his art and uh, his presentation. So, if you want to learn a little bit more about his work, how to put a portfolio together, all of that kind of stuff, go check out Kenneth. That's Kenneth Brandt. And uh, next follow-up shout-out is uh, somebody that I really respect. This guy is a personal favorite of mine. He, uh, if you know anything about me, I'm a very loyal person. And if somebody does something good for me or uh, helps me out, I will always remember that and uh, return the favor. So, Fistful of Popcorn, uh, my buddy, he's got a great uh, horror movie channel. Not just horror movies, but he does reviews on cult movies, you know, like Tremors and Rambo. And he just did one on uh, one of my all-time favorite movies, Creep Show, which is really good. And so he's got a lot of really cool movie reviews. And when I started on YouTube, uh, still fairly new now, but when I first started and I had, you know, no, no support or no subs or anything like that, he was one of the very first guys that subscribed to my channel and uh, watched my videos and encouraged me. And so likewise, I want to keep returning the favor for him and I'll probably keep bringing him back up as we go along um, because I really appreciate what he did for me. And I also really like his channel. He's got all the, all the movies that I love and that I grew up with. And what I really like about uh, his channel and his reviews is that he, get, you know, a lot of people have half hour long, 45 minute long reviews, and that's fine. Uh, nothing wrong with that. But he kind of gets in, does a quick review. It's really concise. Uh, he's well spoken. He gives his opinion, and then he's out. So, you know, if you don't have all day to sit and watch reviews on YouTube, uh, but you just want to see uh, somebody's take on a cool movie, uh, go check out his channel. 
That's a fistful of popcorn and uh, let him know that I sent you, okay? So getting into the uh, regular shout outs, we're gonna start out with Zen Drawings, Wendy. Um, Wendy, this is one of those channels that, you know, we all have our little uh, like corner of our genre or whatever type of style that we work with. And, you know, I try and venture out of my box a little bit and do different things. I think we all try and do that, but you know, we do have our styles and, you know, the, the things that we like to see and that we like to do. And one of my favorite things, I've said it before, but one of my favorite things about finding you guys and uh, seeing your channels and what you're doing is seeing different kinds of work to my own. Uh, work that I, I might not necessarily have ever gotten into, been a fan of, or done myself. But I see you guys doing it and I can appreciate all the little nuances of the different kinds of work. And uh, Wendy's channel... Zen Drawings is a good example of that. She does uh, what are called Zen Drawings. You might have seen them before. There's a lot of them on YouTube. Uh, when I started looking, I saw quite a few. Uh, but I guess they're, they can be like patterns, uh, freeform designs, uh, and, you know, any kind of uh, different way you want to do them. But they're, I guess they're like a really meditative form when you get into them. And I see some people doing them with, you know, like med meditative music and uh you can kind of like it's relaxing it kind of chills you out um but they're look they look like to me like the really complex designs and i appreciate the pen work and uh, the pen control and the attention to detail and the uh long periods of concentration you know i've been a tattoo artist for many years so or i was uh so when i see these kind of things those are the kind of things that i appreciate like that level of detail and like that can you know that uh maintain that level of concentration and not screw up your lines and that kind of stuff so uh that's what wendy does it's a cool channel um she's got some instructionals on how to do different kinds of uh zen drawings and uh different d patterns and things like that so it's a unique channel and an interesting channel if you haven't seen that kind of stuff i would definitely recommend that you go check out wendy and um show her some support okay moving on Next, we have Miss Jones Art Teacher, a.k.a. Stephanie. And uh, without going into uh, deep detail, I, when you guys message me with personal stuff, I, tr I try not to um, let too much of it out. I never know what people are comfortable with me discussing, you know, on the channel uh, for other people. Even though we have a great supportive community, I try not to breach, like, any level of you know trust or where you wouldn't want me to go but uh, she, uh, she's had uh, some difficult times in her life recently she's had some health problems some pretty serious uh health issues and she's going through some tough times it seems like so i'm really happy to have her up maybe we can provide some support for her and maybe it'll uh bring a little bit of positivity into her life now and she's got amazing art you know this isn't all just a charity deal i pick artists that i respect and that i actually genuinely appreciate and uh what i love about her work she does a lot of uh soft black and gray uh and kind of that kind of stuff like um there she's got a lot of scenes with children and you know water and be beaches that kind of stuff it reminds me of my childhood in the innocence and joy of uh, being a child that only you know only those years uh, really that innocence you can only have at least to me when you're a kid and when I look at her work it reminds me of that and it it, it takes me somewhere in my head and uh, that's a sign to me of really good art when when you look at something and it transcends just what you're looking at but it takes you away somewhere and that's the effect that her work has on me so it's a very powerful uh, black and gray work and uh, I think it's it's a, a really, really good way to revisit your youth, or at least for me, that's what looking at her work does for me. Uh, so show her some support, uh, look at her work, check it out, and uh, let her know that you guys are out there thinking about her, okay? So that's uh, Stephanie, Miss Jones Art Teacher. And next, one of my personal favorites that I've had for a long time, uh, Vanessa Rotten Candy. Now, she's got a style, and I love when I find artists, like, it's a, an immediate connection. Uh, a couple of weeks, might have been last week, I remember uh, we did Jessica Benson, and I had the same reaction when I looked at her work, and it may, might be the way uh, they use color or something, because I have an affinity for color, but whatever it is, sometimes I, 
when I'm looking through it, different artists and stuff, and I'll see a thumbnail and it immediately draws my attention. Well, that's Vanessa's work. Um, it's a very stylized kind of work, very unique. Like when you see her stuff, you can immediately identify that it's her work. And I, I love artists that have that about their work. It's really, it's a hard thing to do, especially today when there's so many people doing different things. Um, to, to in the you know the art world it's especially on YouTube and stuff is so oversaturated when you cr come across something that's genuinely unique it really stands out and uh, that's that's her work so um, she does a lot of really she, effective use of color uh, again the soft blues the, the pinks and the magentas like all that stuff I was talking about with Jessica Jessica Benson's work that I use in my work those powers are uh, those colors are really powerful those um, really rich saturated magentas purples all that kind of stuff and Vanessa uses a lot of those and it reminds me kind of like pastel work because her, her uh, colors and her values are really smooth and uh, she does uh, different different kind of work. She does some pieces with watercolor and mixes in colored pencil, which is a really cool uh, combination of techniques. I love seeing, I, and I'm, I'm this is again uh, an ode to like seeing different styles that I wouldn't necessarily do, but seeing different combinations of techniques that I wouldn't have thought of uh, when I see your guys' work. And I see a lot of this um, watercolor with colored pencil and. I'm starting to see more of it now, and uh, it's really it's in a really effective combination of techniques with that watercolor. You get that wash, you know, and that kind of the soft, you know, wash of color. But then I see people like Vanessa take the colored pencil and over the watercolor and really uh, detail with with the pencil over that that wash of color, and it's got a really cool effect. And she uses it really effectively. Um, she's also got some digital work. Um, and a lot of just a lot of really unique pieces, you know, uh, when you're when you see her work here You'll uh, understand why I dig her so much. So uh, Go check her out. That's Vanessa rotten candy and uh, let her know what you think of her work. Okay guys And next we have a uh, cherry Taylor studio. I hope it's cherry it might be sherry, but it looks like cherry to me So I'm going with that uh, Another talented artist very high-level artist uh, you can see her work is prominent in the thumbnail this week the first piece that I saw of hers was um, the one in the thumbnail of the sea turtles where they're underneath the water and then the view is below with the water above. It's got some fantastic like light sourcing coming down through, filtering through the water and it kind of reflects off the back of the turtles and it's just incredibly detailed, uh, high level of detail and composition and um, a very impressive piece. She's got a lot of really beautiful animal work. Um, she's just recently taken the step to uh, become a full-time working artist. So let's uh, support her there. If you see uh, her work and you want to go check out, I'll put the, the links, of course, as always, will be in the description. If you want to check out her channel, her website, uh, if you like her work, buy a print from her, ask her about a commission. Making that leap, and I know firsthand from... Uh, doing other things and and you know doing art full time and this making that leap to quitting your job and fully committing to art is very stressful and so i know what she's going through so uh, uh if you like her stuff go support her and she's uh, very talented very high level she's got some really cool landscapes uh really neat uh, color schemes in those landscapes uh, she's experimenting with different colors and combinations uh, some very cool stuff. So go check out uh, go check out Cherry Taylor Studios and uh, next Julian HG Paints. Uh, another one of those channels. I'm always surprised, and this is one of the reasons that I wanted to start doing the shout out series. I, w I was really surprised when I started looking at not just the quality of content on YouTube, but some of these channels have so much content. And it's all quality with quality thumbnails and good voiceover work. And I see some people have like 40, 50 videos up and like 70 subscribers or 50 subscribers. And uh, so, you know, all the stuff that YouTube tells you about or all the videos that you guys have probably all seen about, uh, you know, how to build a big audience and all that kind of stuff, you know, make a nice thumbnail and and uh, you know things like that use certain words it doesn't work like from my experience because I see all these channels 
with tons of content. It's high quality content and it's all presented very well and they have no subscribers. So that kind of pissed me off and that was one of the imp part of the impetus for me to do this because I'm like, you know, I want to help these people uh, get out from under that that weight of uh, oversaturation and too much junk on the on the uh, platform and uh, so anyway roundabout back to where I started uh, Julian HG paints and uh, that's perfect example of what I was talking about a ton of quality content very high level work uh, a lot of oil work which is um, very hard to work with and you have to really know what you're doing be experienced with it to get this level of quality and there's just a ton of content you could spend hours looking through all the content on his channel so uh, I really want to help him out another high level artist uh, great uh, great oil videos uh, portrait work uh, did some animal work and uh, a cool video that I haven't seen many uh, of these he has got a do-it-yourself lighting video on how to improve the lighting for your for your videos and your time lapses which is very helpful uh, especially if you don't have a big budget but lighting is one of those things that's uh, huge in terms of the quality uh, the end quality of your videos I, I see a lot of people that have really uh, high quality pieces and and it's you know they'll have the full time lapse but the lighting is hard to see what they're doing or their you know their head isn't back of their head is in the shot those kind of things are big you know they make a big difference it's all about the presentation so uh, he's got some cool information on uh, how to help you with do-it-yourself lighting if you don't have a ton of money. And um, so uh, he's got another video, how to make your own art desk. Those kind of things are really important, especially if you're just starting out. Um, very talented guy, uh, Julian HG. Go check him out, look at his work, watch those videos, and let him know if those were helpful for you, okay? Uh, next is April May Fine Art. Uh, April has a, an adorable dog piece that was what drew me to her channel and she does one of these things that I see some people do where um, they have like a numerous part series like it's not just a one part tutorial but like a, she's got a four part tutorial series on this uh, dog piece about how to go about doing an acrylic painting from start to finish so you know that it's not just where she's got to cram a ton of information into one video she can she's really fleshed it out and gone into detail over the four parts and that takes a lot of time and a lot of energy to do and a lot of work as I'm sure you guys know as creators so uh, please go watch those and uh, let her know that her time and energy was not for nothing and uh, go check that out she's got uh, let's see she's got another piece where it's um, beautiful ballet slippers this one's in the thumbnail as well and I'm really fascinated with people that use uh, airbrush work effectively and um, it's something I've always wanted to learn how to do I've said it before I've got like a 300 page novel back there uh, about airbrush work that I got like 20 years ago and I've it's just one of those things maybe out of laziness or whatever I never really delved into uh, airbrush work but one of my favorite artists of all time, which you guys will know, uh, Master of H.R. Uh, Giger, did a lot of airbrush work, and uh, I've always fascinated by people that use it uh, in different ways and, and effectively. In April, the way she does it is, or at least how she's done it on her on her channel, um, she does like these really cool uh, like lighting effects with airbrush in the background, which keeps the background really soft and unfocused but then like really hyper detail and uh, in the in the foreground work which reminds me of how uh, Kat does her work, Kat Skinner. Uh, she does a similar kind of style and the effect is really uh, grabs you right away. It's pretty striking where you have um, the foreground being kind of loose and soft and then uh, or the background and then the foreground is detailed so when you look at it it's like a stunning you know contrast when you see that that work um, and so She's got a cool piece like that with the ballet slippers, and uh, it's an impressive piece. So uh, go check her out. Go check out her dog pieces and uh, her her t tutorial, if I can say that word. And uh, let her know that you appreciate her hard work and uh, that you've uh, that you want to support her. Okay. So next is another one of those. Uh, Gentleman that I promised a while ago would be in a video and it took me a little bit longer than I uh, might have liked but 
Like I said before, I'm a man of my word. If I tell you I'm going to get you up in a video, I'm going to get you up in a video. Um, so if I've missed you or you sent me an email or and I haven't got back to you, uh, give me a little bit of time. And if I still don't respond, I try not to miss anything, but I am human. So if I miss something, just send me a friendly reminder and I will uh, follow through on what I promised you. So that's uh, what we've got now is the awkward guy. I promised him a while ago he'll be up, so here he is. Uh, another super talented guy. Um, he His work captured me immediately. He's got some different stuff. He's got some oil um, and some different uh, mediums up. But what really struck me about his work is his uh, charcoal portraits. I've not seen a whole lot of people do uh, highly detailed portrait work with charcoal um, exclusively, which he does. And it's something that's really fascinating to me. Again, another one of those things that I don't have a lot of experience with. I've rarely used it ever. Um, so it's fascinating for me to watch other people that are using it effectively and at a high level. And his, his portraits have like a really haunting kind of effect. Um, similar to an artist that we put in one of the first shout out videos, uh, Granier. And um, her portraits had that same kind of effect to me. Like almost like really dark, depressing, haunting and uh, that's the, the vibe I get from some of his work. He's got one piece called Beautiful Insomnia. Really stuck out to me. I made a, a video earlier in uh, the channel where I talked about my struggles with insomnia. And I've had some feedback from a lot of you, uh, including uh, Steve, who's a new member of our community. I read he put a super long uh, comment on, the, uh, on that video where I talked about insomnia with you know a bunch of information on how to deal with it go check that out if you have a chance but uh, his piece beautiful insomnia here uh, really stuck out to me and he's got some great portrait work like I said before so uh, uh, a lot of different kind of uh, interesting content on his channel and uh, another very talented artist so go check out the awkward guy and uh, let him know that you see what he's doing okay and so last but not least we have Millie Q art and um, Millie is uh, another artist with some really beautiful animal work. I see a lot of great animal work and uh, I, I love animals. I love seeing how you guys capture their personalities. Uh, a lot of great colored pencil animal work. I've seen a lot of great oil animal work. And uh, that's what attracted me to her channel was the animal work. Uh, she's got some great colored pencil animal pieces and captures the personality uh, incredibly well i love i love seeing you know the personality and the and the animals uh that you guys do and um she's got some really nice soft black and gray work and one thing that i'm a huge fan of as well that i don't see a lot of uh is monochromatic work which is you know working in one color it's a variation of uh to me it rem it's kind of reminds me of like limited palette work like when you know you guys if you're not familiar with that term it's when you do a, an artist as a piece and you only give yourself like a certain amount of colors, like four or five colors, and that's all you can use. And um, Millie's got some really cool monochromatic work, which uh, reminds me of limited palette work in the sense that you can only work with gradations of one color. So it, it's kind of like one of those things where necessity is the mother of invention. It helps you improve because you don't have a lot of different options, you know, so you've got to work with just one color and, and you know, learn how to saturate and then, you know, wash out different levels of that color to get your values. And um, she's got a really, couple of really cool monochromatic pieces. One is a, a subway piece and um, and it's, it's just really interesting to see. It's a cool thing to do as an artist to push yourself to uh, get better and uh, you know test yourself improve your skills all that kind of good stuff I've been meaning to do a monochromatic piece for a while so maybe I'll get on that all right guys so that is the Saturday shout out for this week I hope that uh, it was worth waiting for again thank you so much for being patient with me sticking with me I, uh, I promise to always do this as long as I have the channel it's something that I enjoy doing I have a passion for it and hopefully we can keep growing the channel and growing the community and uh, the bigger I get, the more I can help you guys. So uh, something I enjoy. All right. Go check out all the artists. Go support them. Support me if you want a commission. I'm actually home now and have time. So if you want a commission, whether it be large or small, contact me. Um, 
If you uh, like what the artists are doing by their prints, by their work, check out their social media, all that kind of stuff. Check out the uh, artist community Reddit forum down there below. Uh, there's always lots of cool challenges going on. I think there's an ocean landscape challenge right now where you do a, an ocean piece. And uh, Kat's really on top of that forum. She organizes a lot of those challenges, as does uh, David. And so, yeah, if you want to be a part of those challenges or just have a question or want to introduce yourself, go to the uh, community that forum there on Reddit, register, and be a part of it all. All right, guys, so uh, I've got uh, that Seattle video up, which I'll link to in the description. It's um, really neat, really fun. My wife is in the video as well as some of my uh, family, so you can see, uh, see them. And then tomorrow I'm going to be releasing a video that I did um, on a, it was just a pencil uh, portrait piece that I did with some of my own music. So check that out tomorrow. And as always, thank you for your support and uh, we'll see you next week. All right, later. That was a good one, Janet.